Hello and welcome to your guide to CVs. I'm going to take you through a typical CV and look at some important areas that need highlighting. Firstly, use your name as a heading. There is no need to write CV at the top. Make sure you give your term time address or UK address where you can be contacted easily. If you are an international student and have completed your course, indicate your work permit status or right to work in the UK. Also indicate your language skills and level of proficiency. Now we're going to look at your personal statement. Too often these statements are generic, not setting you apart from other graduates. Make sure you customise your personal statement to match the job or placement you're applying for and be specific in your experience. Think about your key selling points and give a brief summary of relevant skills and experience. You could also indicate your career aim or focus only if it ties in with what you are applying for. Key skills Match your skills to the job or placement. To do this, you need to be clear about the role that you are applying for and the employer's requirements. Provide evidence of these skills in the body of the CV. Indicate any memberships of professional bodies. If your course is accredited by a professional body, indicate this too. Let's move on to education. Always include your degree classification or anticipated result. Alternatively, indicate module results. Make sure you give details of major projects, given the title and a brief summary, including methodology, stroke processes and outcomes. Give previous qualifications, including the UK equivalent if an overseas student. Work experience. Always include details and tasks and indicate how you performed in the role listing key achievements. Highlight transferable skills and responsibilities from part-time jobs you have had in the past. Never underestimate the importance of voluntary work. It gives an employer an insight into your personality and what motivates you. Make sure you show recent and previous achievements. Don't just list your interests, indicate your level of involvement where possible. Two referees are normally required, make sure you ask their permission first or just state supplied on request.